Okay, can we all please stand for the entrance of the brides? In marriage to be my wife. In marriage to be my wife. Loving what I know of you. Loving what I know of you. And trusting what is yet to come. And trusting what is yet to come. I promise to love and respect you. I promise to love and respect you. And to share with you. And to share with you. Whatever life may bring us. Whatever life shall bring us. Louise, I give you my hand. Louise, I give you my hand. My heart and all my love. My heart and all my love. From this night forward. From this night forward and for as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. It is with great pleasure I now declare you married. Lauren and Louise, you may now share your first kiss as a married couple. <laughs> now as we know, a loving relationship grows every day and sometimes a funny or touching experience puts your partner in a new light. So we asked Lauren and Louise if they had such a moment. For Louise, she said, it was when we first went away camping to Aviemore. Lauren said she would pick me up and we would load the bikes into the car. However, upon arrival at my house, I quickly saw another side to Lauren, her OCD. 
She had lists and lists and lists, and the car had to be packed in a very precise way. I have never seen this level of organisation in my life. <laughs> and this OCD has continued right into our relationship, and I have now learned to tolerate it. But I must say, <laughs> I must say, we do have the most organised lives and house of anyone I know. <laughs> so finally I wondered, in this age of informality and individualism, why have they decided to get married? In response, Louise spoke first, putting it succinctly and profoundly when she said, Lauren has had some health challenges over the last five years with many ups and downs and this has brought us so much closer as a couple. It's been a very hard period for us both recently, with Lauren having undergone major surgery only 14 weeks ago. We've never got round to organising a wedding as such, as Lauren's health has been our top priority, but the recent surgery really made us think about life and what it means to us. And then they both added, life is precious, never put off till tomorrow what you can do today, as life can change in an instant. So we decided we wanted to get married sooner rather than later, and a surprise wedding seemed like the perfect idea. When reading the bridal magazines and examples of speeches for some inspiration, they all mention how tirelessly the brides worked over recent months to ensure that the wedding is absolutely perfect. Let's just say only one bride worked tirelessly. <laughs> Eloise. <laughs> but on a more serious note, thank you for tolerating me and putting up with my stressing over recent months. My OCD certainly wasn't top form. You look beautiful tonight. I'm so proud to call you my wife. You have stood by my side the hardest of times and have never given up on me. I cannot wait to wake up beside you each and every day. You're my best friend and I'm a beautiful wife. Please raise a glass to my new wife, Louise. So many adventures and fun times. There's not a day goes by that she doesn't make me laugh. I can't imagine life without her. So, as Lauren alluded to earlier, given my laid back nature, tonight wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> Today's itinerary is testament to this. <laughs> now, for one of the main reasons we all invited you here tonight, Lauren's 30th birthday. Please, could you all raise a glass to my beautiful wife, Lauren? Happy birthday, Lauren. Cheers. 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 